What's going on people, Shimanda YB, back once again. So, I'm about a week late on this one, still one of them ones fell off 100%. So, <laughs> we've been following the saga of Tyson Fury's, I don't know what you want to call it. Some people are saying that Dan the Man Kinahan is flying in the fire A1 tackle. Some people are saying it's got a fight coming. Some people are saying it's fighting Usyk. If you listen to TalkSpot, they'll be telling you, yeah, yeah, Usyk knocking Fury and whatever else. There's a million and one things going on. i tell you what ain't gone on. Number one, no announcement. Number two, even if there was an announcement, it's going to be a bum. And number three, definitely no fights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, this sport's fell off. I ain't going to lie to you. The sport really ended. And it's a shame, really, but... It has to be said, looking back now on hindsight, the sport was finished. Especially in the UK, it was finished when AJ fell off. He lost his head. The other one's there. Anthony lost his head. You were. Let's be realistic here. It's fell off. The sport's down bad right now, 100%. Because the guy who's supposed to be on top is out here in or is out here being a marketing agent slash logistics specialist for Dan Kinahan and not focusing on his craft anyway so again over the last three months Fury's put about five videos out I'm not going to go back and do them all I've covered it over the last few weeks oh yeah I've got a big thing coming it's massive and it's super pucker and all this kind of stuff anyway he put another one out about what seven days ago he said the sorry the WBC boxing heavyweight king can't wait Till my next fight. I've been training daily from Christmas. Trying to get a fight. Tried many fighters and I've had no luck. What's that there? Is that a... Is that a coca leaf? I don't know. I'm just asking. But is that a coca leaf? I don't know. Anyway. But that won't keep me down. I'm blessed every day I wake up. Knowing that the Dan packet... Knowing that the Dan parcel is downstairs. To greet me in the morning. To, to, to lighten my day up 100% the light. I know God loves me. And everything will work out the way it should. As it always does. Can't wait for you to see what I've got coming for you guys. It's show stopping. Look at these. Come on people. Look at the emojis now. Come on. And let me play you the video. Why be? Why are you talking about Dan Kinahan for? Here we go. Yeah, 100%. You must, you, you must appreciate the context here. We're bringing a whole lot of pain. We're coming. And we're bringing pain with us. We're bringing a whole lot of pain. Keep tuned. Big announcement coming. And I've said it a few times now. But I'm very excited. <laughs> it's here. It's landed. It's landed, people. Listen. We're coming. Yeah, if you can't read between the lines, I can't spoon feed you on this one. Yeah. He told you. This came out June 21st. It's landed. And the next thing he's saying a week later is, what I've got for you guys is show-stopping. Yeah, YB, again, why Dan Kinahan? Listen, Tyson, from what I'm hearing, from what our sources are telling me, yeah, Tyson Fury is the UK logistics agent for Dan Kinahan. Yeah, he's standing in the middle. He let everyone know the signal. Bear in mind, people, Dan Kinahan, he's under federal investigation right now. He can't come out and he can't pick the phone up. Yeah, you can't, come on, oh, YB, but WhatsApp is, what do they call it? What's that thing they're telling everyone now? WhatsApp is, what's that called? Oh, WhatsApp, oh. Listen, essentially, all the criminals got caught on this dead app called Encro or whatever it was. And then WhatsApp came out and said, oh, don't worry, we're going to encrypt it all. <laughs> You're having a laugh. You're telling me Cabal Mark Zuckerberg is going to encrypt it all. You're about to get got 100% sloppy ass dudes. Anyway, <laughs> like I said, Dan the Man, to be fair to me, he's a little bit smarter than all the Encro chat goofies. Because Dan the Man's realised the best way to do it is to be out in plain sight. Yeah, let me get Tyson Fury. Tell all the connects in the UK, listen, it's landed now, 100%. It's been a bit of a drought, but it's landed. And it show this here is code word, people. You know, this is code word for pricing. Showstopping means 1010, which means top whack. Yeah, this ain't no, this ain't no 10k kilo business. It's showstopping. The showstopping one's landed now. It's ain't no bash ting. Yeah, it's not no baby powder and whatever else. It's the showstopper. So make sure your money correct. Don't be coming short. Don't be coming with that. Oh, I've got. I'll give you this one. Let me tick it. No, none of that rubbish. The showstopping's here and it's going at full whack. In fact, it's going plus ten percent premium. It's the premium one. Yeah, this is what the sig hundred percent Tyson Fury is signalling. Number one, the parcel landed. You, you know, people listen. Yeah, there's a process here. It lands. Tyson Fury tests it for a week. 
And then he tell and he tells Kinnan, listen, man, this one's plus ten percent. You know, whatever the whatever the last ones were done at, this is the A one. Show stopping. And that lets everyone know who wanna get patterned up by Kinahan, listen man, boom. We best get our money right on this one. They sent no meaty thing. It's the pucker. So that's where, from what I'm seeing, because people, YP, you, you always are going on a mad one, talking about random things. Listen, I'll tell you what we, we can't talk about. We can't talk about a fight that's been announced for the last four months, so please forgive me. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, YP, you've you got, you gone off the edge here. What have I? Because you'd have thought, yeah? If we ain't talking about the Coca, what are we talking about? Because we ain't talking about a fight. We ain't talking about Usyk. We ain't talking about anything worth talking about. So let's talk about the Coca, 100%. Yeah, that's where we end up, unfortunately. I'd love, honestly, I'd love nothing more to be on here saying Fury's ripping through the division. And I mean, again, I said a few weeks ago, we was there at one point after Fury smoked Wilder the second time. That was the vibe. It was like, wow, man, this guy, he really on his job. And then he would disappear for a year. And then he fought Bumzora. And now he, he's been bugging almost for a year. He fought Bumzora and there's nothing since. Talking about can't wait till my next fight i've been training daily from christmas you've been ducking since christmas your own dad came out and said listen i did a video on it whenever ago a few weeks ago whatever oh yeah well the thing about tyson is Ty tyson knows how to pick his spots and that's what unfortunately that's what it's looking like bottom line yeah fight in Garnu. big buff the big buff dude who can't even he got run out of his own sport with all due respect do you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't, Ngannou ain't serious. Yeah, Ngannou really ain't done nothing. Let me be real with yeah? you. I, I, I mean, I think the jo John Jones fight is more worthy, if anything. What's Ngannou going to do? Yeah? Ro 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 roll on the floor with a guy from... In his own, what's the guy? I his name now, but... Cyril Gann. He rolled on the floor with him. Big boxer. Let's not forget people. Ngannou meant to be big boxer. What did big boxer do when he went in there with another guy who was supposed to have some half-decent hands? Yeah, big boxer Ngannou went in there with, and rolled on the floor. So he he don't even believe in his hands. Do you understand that, people? And that's one thing I respect about McGregor. No matter who McGregor fought, even if McGregor fought someone who had good hands, he never rolled on the floor with them. Well, until, <laughs> until he jacked against Nate, that is. <laughs> that's classic. Oh, McGregor, he fell off as well. He lost his head and his leg. He lost his head, he lost his leg. The whole lot, he just fell off as well. <laughs> no, listen, people, why be? You know, why be? This, the other, listen. There's nothing wrong with falling off. Yeah, the, the problem is when you don't recognise that. McGregor fell off a long time. I reckon that was... The, the end of McGregor was when he shot in on Nate. That's classic. If you follow McGregor's career, yeah. Like, I, I've told you before, McGregor had me gassed. Like, I was proper in love with the dude. You ain't gonna lie to you. Okay, listen. I could come on here and tell you, oh, yeah, bro, I'm, I didn't love McGregor. I loved him. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, pause. Uh, but McGregor... He had videos out there saying, like, taking the Michael out of people who he fights. And he was, t t up until that point, it was true. He he defined this thing called the panic wrestler. Yeah, and there's a quote of him saying, describing how his fights go. He, go <laughs> he goes, he goes, we go in, we exchange. So, essentially, we go in, the bell goes, we exchange. They realise, oh, yeah, this guy different. Because every, everyone really in mixed martial arts, apart from Habib, everyone likes to throw their hands. So people with McGregor, and that was, to be fair, it was quite true. People would go in there, throw some hands, and then they'd shoot. <laughs> and, they did, and they ended up defining that as the panic wrestler. Yeah, we go in, we exchange. <laughs> I can't do the voice. But we go in, we exchange, and they shoot in desperately. Anyway, two twos. <laughs> it's, honestly, it's so ironic, but either way... McGregor in there with Nate, blows his load, Nate don't go nowhere, and he ends up shooting in, and it was honestly the most, of all the people who have shot in against McGregor, yeah, no one looked as pathetic as McGregor did, it was the most, it wasn't, it wasn't, a sh uh, he wasn't shooting, do you understand that, watch it, watch Nate versus McGregor, McGregor didn't shoot in looking to actually get a takedown, it was a weak, feeble, please get me out of here, that's what it was, McGregor knew, uh, well, when you're in a fight, things move quickly, but McGregor wasn't moving quickly in his mind. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew, okay, I'll do a, I'll do the most feeble shooting that will get stuffed, and I'll give my back up. And that's what he did. I've never, Nate Diaz took McGregor's back in record time. Yeah, McGregor wanted out of there. 
So he fell off. But anyway, I don't know why I spent so much time talking about McGregor, but that, for me, did, did chuck on me, that whole thing. McGregor's whole career is quite funny, actually, but anyway. Um, Mangano, come on, people, stop. Yeah, Mangano's another big for nothing dude. Oh, fair enough, yeah. If Mangano went in there and did something with John, even had a go, have, at least have half a go in your own sport, you'd say, well, he buffed for something. He just buffed her. Yeah, he better off joining AJ on the Mr. Olympia stage. Just pumping up some, that's what I believe, genuinely. AJ and Ngannou are best suited for that. It, oh, put it this way. Given a choice, or given the analysis of what sports are Ngannou and AJ most likely to, su to succeed in? Boxing or body weight pumping at Mr. Olympia? Yeah, where would AJ and Ngannou look most at home? In a boxing ring? Or on Mr. Olympia stage. I'm sorry. All, listen, all jokes aside, yeah. We can sit here and say, oh, YP, it's the boxing ring. It's not. You're lying to yourselves, people. AJ hasn't looked right in a boxing ring for five years. However, if he pumped himself up for a year, pumped some more, I, I reckon he'd pop, do well in Olympia. All jokes aside, he'll look more at home there. He'll look more comfortable there. He hasn't looked comfortable in a minute. And in Garnu, the same thing. Mr. Big Hands. Mr. Big Hang jump in there with Cyril Gann and roll on the floor. <laughs> Come on, people. He went out as bad as, Mc, as, as, bad as McTapper, in my opinion. Well, no, no tell a lie. No one went out as bad as McTapper versus Nate, but it's that same thing. Yeah, are you big and buff and got hands, or haven't you? Oh, I'm big, buff, and Garnu. I'm, I'm going to want to roll on the floor because the guy can strike a bit. What? Make that make sense, people. Please, for me, make it make sense. That there is, that's what predators do. Yeah, that's a Tyrone Booth kind of thing. Ooh. Ooh, that, oh, wait there a minute. I'm fighting Stipe Miocic, who I know can wrestle. So I'll throw hands with him. I'll be the big, yeah, big hand guy for him. But wait there a minute. Cyril Gann, he can strike a bit. So I'll roll on the floor with him. You know what I mean? That's not what's, in my opinion anyway. Yeah? You're supposed to go in there and, and get it how you're living. Live by the gun, die by the gun. Especially when you ain't a wrestler. Like, what, what are we doing anyway? The fact of the matter is, people, I ain't trying to see any, I ain't trying to see Ngannou. I ain't trying to say any of this waffle. Only place I want to see Ngannou, yeah, not in the boxing ring, is with John Jones. That's it. And, I mean, God forbid, I don't know, people. I don't know what to say, man. All we can say is, is that, I don't know. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and let go to 100%. No doubt about this one.